Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the end of October from now until the end of October. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, this reading is for somebody. I don't know if it's going to be for you. It might not be for you. All right. It's going to be with somebody specific. I don't know who it's going to be for. Typically, my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. This is for Libra. What does Libra need to know? The sign of Libra. Whoop. Mmm. Yikes. Okay. Wow. The Three of Swords. Very first card. Heartache. Grief. Suffering. Pain. You may be feeling some pain. Maybe a decision, a painful decision has been made. No more illusion. That's for damn sure. Looks like something has, something has happened that hurts by the looks of things. It's happened. Oh, goodness. You may feel like you're going through some sort of repression at this time. There may be a loss of self. I mean, when you're grieving, people can tend to not master their emotions well and, you know, go through periods of repression, right? I mean, that happens. There's something going on behind the scenes here. There's a reason for this. And you may not know what it is. You may not know what, what it is. But there's some sort of mystery here. There's a reason some sort of mystery. Hmm. Hidden force. Ah! Okay, so Libra, there's some sort of definitely something going on behind the scenes. It's going to cause a rude awakening and it's going to hurt. Looks like there's going to, you may experience some sort of painful breakup. I mean, or ending. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you here. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Something is going to probably break down that needs to break down. You haven't made the decision to do so, or somebody hasn't, but now the decision is being made. The decision is being made and something is falling apart. I'm sorry to tell you. But things fall apart so they can be built stronger. So that you can get something better. You may not be prepared for this. Maybe you think you're prepared, but you're not. You may not be quite prepared as you should be for this rude awakening whatever it is but I feel as though you guys will handle it with poise okay it looks like you will it looks like you guys will remain under control obviously you're going to be in your own element you're going to take it you know you're very intelligent here you're very intellectual you're very logical I think that you guys are going to really even though it may on the inside it may poke you you know emotionally it will poke you on the outside I think and then and how you come across to others you will remain strong okay I feel like you guys will people will will still look up to you okay whatever this is there's I think there's there's some cycle in your life there's some sort of something that is ending okay oh my god here's the ending card that i was just looking for yep something is coming to an end and it is not going to feel good okay it's not gonna feel good ah you know it could have been a partnership that was a false contract you know i mean hey what more can I say? I mean, I can't, You got, any tarot reader could tell you that there's some sort of breakup here. 
that hurts and it ain't gonna it ain't gonna feel good and you're gonna you know have to be logical and try to keep it under control keep your emotions in check which I think you will do but oh my goodness yeah you're gonna have to find your strength there's no doubt about it this is going to give you strength. It's going to make you stronger in the out in the in the long run. Something is, some there's some sort of breakdown. Okay, there is. There's a rude awakening coming, and and it's and it's going to hurt. Okay, it is going to hurt. Okay, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. But it is going to give you strength. It is going to make you find that strength within you to be logical. Uh, be wise you know it's you're it's it's really gonna bring out the best in you you know it is it is even though you may not see it that way um, it's really going to uh, wake you up whatever this is um, now there's a there's a break in a union okay there's a there's some sort of break in a union there is, there is, there's an, there's a completion of a contract here. There is. Um, so you may have been indecisive about it. You have these are both cards of indecision, but this is the decision is being made for you by the universe. The un, this is a universe. The universe is saying, okay, done. Whatever this is, okay, done. Because that's what's in your best interest. Look at the look at her look on her face. It's not going to make you happy. Okay? But you have to remember with the moon card there's a reason. There is a reason. There's stuff, there's hidden forces here. When something is meant to end, it's meant to end, okay? It's out of your control. The universe is in control, truthfully, honestly. So true suffering brings growth. True suffering makes you stronger. And I know nobody wants that, but it's the way it is, right? So I feel like there's a contract, a partnership that is ending abruptly. And you may not like it. You may not like it. I'm not going to pussyfoot around this and pretend it's all good when it ain't. It's like... This completion was in the works for quite some time. It was. But you didn't... You didn't let go. You held on and didn't prepare for the, the truth of this situation. But now the universe is hitting the target. And it may cause you to be emotional. It may cause you to shut down emotionally. It may. And maybe you, it just, you just totally shut right down. And maybe it even makes you cry. I mean, there could be some tears shed. Um, very dissatisfied. You're, you're definitely not going to be happy about this situation. It's like something is slipping away. Something has slipped away. And it's because you have a better opportunity that you haven't, you haven't been seeing. You haven't been focusing on. You've been focusing on some sort of loss for too long. Or so, some sort of unhappy situation. For You have been. And the universe is like, damn. You've lost that. The love that you deserve. You deserve to get love. And so they're bringing you a new suitor, somebody that's better suited for you, a better opportunity that's more exciting. But you haven't been able to accept it or see it even or even think about it because you've been focused on 
something that needed to be removed. Yeah, you have been. The Nine of Swords, you've been really focused on something that was very depressing. There's been too much. There's been too much hurt. There's been too much sleepless nights. There's been too many, um, too much pain involved in this situation that you have been stuck on, investing in. But the thing is, is you've been trying to protect yourself too, right? You have, see, he's sleeping with one sword under his arms. He's, he's ready to protect himself. And we got three swords. What is this? This is a four of swords. Did I say nine of swords? I think I did. But anyway. Why did I say nine of swords? Weird. Anyway, um, the three of swords right here. So this definitely is very painful. Now you guys are in protection mode, right? Sleeping with your own sword. That's, oh my goodness. Your heart has been broke. So you, so you're, you're, you've. You're ready, you're exhausted from focusing so much on all this. Because I saw the Nine of Swords. You are exhausted and it's like you're you're ready you need you you feel the need to protect yourself at this point. <laughs> I think you guys are having a hard time sleeping. I do. Because of some pain that you're feeling. Oh my God. Yeah, Ten of Wands, heavy. This is heavy, heavy, heavy. Whatever is going on is heavy. And it's like... too much to hold on to you can't you can't it's too much it's brought you right to your knees something is just like it's too hot it's too much to handle you can't handle it you may feel overwhelmed this week overwhelmed with some sort of pressure or pain or something i i'm sorry libra i am i am you're going to need to find your strength to keep it to keep it under control to be logical here find your strength to master your emotions you may feel alone all alone all alone like you don't like you lost Mm, yeah, it's like there's some sort of bad luck. Something is happening that is not um, beautiful. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not. There's not a beautiful ending to this story here. So I don't know who this is for, but I'm not going to pretend that there is. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's something going on that has been cooking for a while. And it's about to come to a head. And it may make you feel overwhelmed and at a complete loss, like you need to protect yourself. There's going to be depression and anxiety over it, or there already has been. You may feel like you're going backwards. And it's out of your control, even though you may think that you can control it. The Wheel of Fortune Reverse is clinging to control. This is out of your control. The universe is bringing this rude awakening into your this breakdown this fall whatever it is they're bringing it to the surface to be dealt with because you haven't whatever it is you haven't and you need to find the strength to overcome it 
This is bad luck. This is needing to go within and become consciously aware. Time to reflect, replan, come up with a new plan. Yeah, come up with a new plan. One door is closing and a new door is going to open, but there's closure happening right now. Something is happening right now. Some kind of closure. Ending. There is. There is. And it's going to bring you a better, more exciting opportunity, but you ain't going to think about that at this point. Okay, because we basically have the Three of Swords twice. And it's like you have that power tucked under your arm and you're just not using it. So there's, there's pain here. Because somebody's not. Somebody's walked away and they're not coming back. Whoever you were dealing with has gone cold, withdrawn, detached. And maybe that's you. Maybe you, maybe you go get into this state of mind where you're like... Ugh. Shut down. Because this is going within isolation. And this is like, I can't even handle this. I'm not talking to anybody. I don't want to talk to anybody. You know, that kind of mentality. Don't even communicate with me. No communication. You know, lack of. Cold with John. You may go, you may feel like you are a complete, Unable. I'm unable to give you anything emotionally at this time because I can't even emotionally take care of myself at this moment. I feel like you guys are going to go through some sort of tower moment. Rude awakening. Break up. Break down. Split. Something is happening. It's going to split. Something is about to fall apart. Unfortunately. But it's for your highest good. It's not going to make you smile. Okay? It's not going to make you smile. It's going to cause you to retreat. It is. Retreat emotionally. It's going to cause you to retreat. Feel some pain. <laughs> I'm sorry, Libra. I am. I really, really, really am. Could have to do with a male. We have Emperor, which is Aries. Um, could be the male. Could be anybody. Could be a, a somebody who is in an authoritative role. Whatever, whatever is happening, this pain that you're feeling is trying to get you to find the strength to step up to the plate, take care of business, take the lead. It's going to make you wiser in the long run. It's, gonna, it's asking you to take control of the situation, to regain control. To, to put in more effort in a certain situation. I don't know. To work harder. I don't know. This could have to do with work. I don't know what this is. Could have to do with work. Could have to do with love. But you're going to need to find that confidence and that courage. And that strength, like I said. To hold your head up high. And dominate this situation. Dominate this situation. And that's what they want you to do. Whatever is happening is going to bring teach you a lot of strength. It's going to make you stronger, even though it ain't going to make you happy in the short term. It is going to make you stronger. You haven't been using your power. Okay? And it's time for you to realize how strong you are. It's time for you to be honest with yourself as well. Some of you haven't been being honest with yourself because the Ace of Swords is reversed. 
not accepting the truth of a situation, even though the universe has been trying, waiting for you to accept that truth. And you have it. You, like I said, the decision hadn't been made. Now all of a sudden the universe makes that decision and you have to accept the truth. So, Libra, I feel like there's going to be some sort of rude awakening that comes about this by the end of this month that really shakes up your um, self, okay? It shakes you up. It may be overwhelming, may cause some pain, some tears, uh, make you retreat, go within. But trust me that this has all happened for a reason. It's going to make you stronger and something needed to end. Something needed to end, but you were reluctant to step over that finish line. Closure is needed in a situation in which you weren't allowing. And when you hold on to something for so long, the universe will step in. So, Libra, I really feel like this is a, a week of learning some sort of strength to overcome some sort of uh, contract that is ending. A contract is ending that you didn't don't want to end, but it's time for it to end. That cycle is over. And this person's not coming back. This situation is calling for you to have faith. With with when things break down, when the universe pulls the tower moment it's because it's time trust codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life I feel like this codependency card is, is this is where the strength comes from it's time to find your strength to do it on your own Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. Love makes the difference. There's a better suitor or a better opportunity with this page of wands. Once this door gets closed, once the universe steps in, there's a better opportunity that's well suited for you. But you, with the Five of Cups reversed, you haven't been able to see it. And that's when the tower says, okay. This person refuses to see it. Lives in an illusion, fantasy. It's time for me to... Wake them up. They haven't moved forward. They can't take the lead. So I'm making the decision to do so. With the Wheel of Fortune reversed, it's out of your control. You've been trying to control it, but it's not in your control. So I be expect the unexpected, Libra, with that Tower card. With the Wheel reversed. It's like there's a, a, a bout of bad luck, okay? And that's normal. We all go through it. Happens to be your turn, right? So it feels like there's going to be some sort of rude awakening. 
A rude awakening. That's the meaning of the tower card, right? That ends a contract. That wasn't compatible anyway. Even though you don't want to believe it. I wish you the best. Good luck.